So, what we have is a perfect setup for evil. This is, you can't imagine this uh, as being more evil than it is. So what we have is uh, Errol Flynn, Clark Gable, Steve McQueen, the name three, Robert Shaw, Robert Taylor, all dead at 51 years of age. Roy Orbison, uh, Marty Robbins, Now why? Well, the trading for the <coughs> birth certificate is so immense that this person is gambling on. The deal is <coughs> if they can get a put option on the death will occur when this man is 51 years of age. <coughs> they can uh, then trade on the likelihood of this taking place when they are going to set everything up to cause the death of Errol Flynn, Robert Stack, Robert Shaw, Steve McQueen, Marty Robbins, Roy Orbison, and the latest one, Michael Jackson. Because they had figured out <coughs> what the answer was. But they didn't know that they were being traded on the stock market, on put options, that they will be able to kill him when he's 51 years of age. That's the fucking Jews. So I'm saying the Judaism Stephen, well, Stephen Hawking, I think. There's a very good impression of me, you know, doing an impersonation of him. So you grab the attention, you guide the common good from all religions, therefore, manifest as whatever the Hindi are looking for <coughs> as their Messiah, I have fulfilled their prophecy. <laughs> there you go, isn't it? It's clever. So then you've got to fulfill the pro prophecies of the Arab nations. <coughs> when they see that Iran is getting set to announce it, they don't want to miss the boat. But it'll just because this is what happens. It's the common oh shit moment that collectively can force a, uh, a hive to swarm, like Saddam Hussein was in court when he was being tried with a sentence of to be hanged. What he said was correct. The man was a saint. He had to go. Nebuchadnezzar. He thought he was Nebuchadnezzar, therefore he's the one who got the job. Someone's got to do it. He did it. So a logic triumphs over people. And from the perspective of the Maoris, for example, the Maoris, and the Aboriginal peoples, settled out of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Pedro Fernandez de Quiros declared that in 1606, on November 1st, 1606. May. May 15th, I think. 1606. 1606, yeah. that the gospel will be taught 
to all people to the South Pole freely without prejudice. In the name of Jesus. Pedro Fernandez declared it on the New Hebrides Islands. New Hebrides, New Hebrews. So we got a lot of change. And that happens to match exactly the GPS that recorded distances from the 15 to 21. Degrees down to the Ruler Airs Rock where we were. <coughs> which is the Rock of Airs, which is Marshall. In Greek. <laughs> Hello. So we all got a new religion, haven't we? It was the Marshalls thing in town. <laughs> 